Where do you want to go? Are you ready for our walk? <laughs> Are you ready for the walk? Hi, hi, hi. Hush. Hush. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, I guess it's time for me to walk. I want you to see how hot it is. I, don't, I didn't want to take a picture because I didn't want you guys to think it's the same picture, but it seems like it just keeps wanting to be 120, but uh, earlier it was in the, like, uh, 98, and then it got to 100, and then, oh my goodness, now this. And I went I in and... Come back in here because it's really, really hot. Look at that. Just sweating crazy-like. And I took my water with me, and it is just steaming. I mean, the steam was coming up off the cement. Now, I did take Taco, but he just went on the, on, the, on the trail that he goes, or that I go, usually when it's a cooler day, which is up and down where the trees were. But there's no more trees! <laughs> I really wanted to talk about uh, VSG Tanya's video about the walking. And uh, if you guys want to go check her out, go right ahead. I've talked about her before. And, um, you know, some of us... Some of us, I used to think the same thing. If I'm not running, if I'm not doing the elliptical, if I'm not doing a gym exercise, if I'm not doing weights, I'm not progressing, right? You got to do what you love. Otherwise, you won't keep it up. Let me let me let Taco out. <laughs> he probably has to go party and I'm making so a mistake. Anyway, so what my point is, is that we've got to find things that we love, right? We've got to find things that we enjoy doing. Otherwise, we're never going to keep it up, ever. And uh, I've gotten the remarks, you know, I've been doing YouTube for a while, and I've gotten the people that say walking is not enough. And uh, <laughs> I think I've proven them wrong. I really have, because my stamina is pretty good, even with the weather the way it is today. Now, I can't promise you that I'm going to do that every day, because my husband came back and got on to me. In fact, he was looking for me. I didn't take my phone, which was never go out guys in this type of weather without your phone I did a no-no because you never know if you've got a, if you're you know we dehydrate very easily I, I cannot stress that enough I've been in the hospital for dehydration and it's not fun <laughs> when you're this far out so anyway um, so don't do that don't do what I did oh Lord he was so mad <laughs> he was you know it's like a, a new life said. I call her my team sister because we seem to always, I don't know why, God just unites us in so many ways. We have so many friends here that can that do that. Anyway, she did a video. Uh, I, I'll put the links to the people that I'm talking about down below. And uh, she did a video that I put up on Facebook because I believe that it's true. A lot of us, I always point the finger back to me. I'm never just pointing the finger out. Just like, you know, you, you, you. No, no, no. It's always me, me, me too. We tend to uh, say it as, well as, we're, as we're progressing in our journey and we see other people doing things what we say is wrong and we tend to judge them. Who are we to judge? Who are we to say that walking is not enough? Who are we to say that you're eating wrong? You know, if your doctor told you you could have that. Now, if you're not, if you're not following his plan, then that's another story and we can help you out. You know, so listen, listen with an open ear and an open mind and an open heart, my friends. I only say this because I have been judged many, many times for what I do and what I say. But it's not, also, it's not your place to judge. You know, they, they eventually will get it. You can, you know, have tough love, you know, or whatever, but always remember that you will be on this side of the road at one time or another in this journey you know we don't want to get none of us want to gain weight none of us want to go through menopause none of us want to go through a change none of us do but it happens it's life i don't know why i'm saying this so abruptly but i must be saying it for a reason right and of course i just have all these things going through me because i just took took this hour walk but let me tell you it can be pretty overwhelming when we feel like, you know, we got it all under control, and in an instant, the control can be gone. But it's also good to know that control can be taken again in our journey. It can be taken 
just as easy as it was left. In other words, you know, we can take control of our journey again, our destiny, our, 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 our wants. You know, uh, there's nothing wrong with me wanting to be 130. Um, me trying to get there is just keeping me healthy, basically. It's keeping me healthy. It's keeping me wanting to eat right and wanting to do the right thing for my body. And again, I, I know I started with Tanya talking about the walking, and then I talked about a new life, you know, talking about we shouldn't judge each other. We should only walk our journey. That's all we can do for, for us. And uh, when I get together with friends, you know, a woman's retreat. We had a woman's retreat. We sure did. We got a lot of things uh, covered in one night, and it was an amazing night because... I think that that's what it is. Each one of us are traveling uh, only our journey, but it's wonderful that we can, you know, take from here and take from there and make it our own. Because that's what we need to be doing is making it our own. So anyway, I'm already at five minutes, and basically what I wanted to say was that, you know, uh, Tanya, you're right. Uh, walking can be a great exercise. Don't down walking people. <laughs> Don't. It, it's an amazing thing. And if you if, if you can do a little trot and jog at the same time, that's even better. Um, anyway, I just wanted to, to say that um, Taco keeps me on my toes. He always wants to go walking and his paws can't take that heat. And uh, I brought him back and I ended up taking the pavement. And then I took the pavement and regretted it. The heat was that intense. Now, I can't do night walking unless I'm with my husband. And my husband right now, he's in the heat all day long. And he doesn't want to do the heat at night. So I'm kind of stuck to the elliptical. But uh, I get encouraged with my sister. She's on the bike and I get on the elliptical. Or I do the ke I Yesterday I did some weights. I did the kettlebell. Anyway, I'm making this way too long. I just wanted to come on and say that. I also want to share someone with you. Uh, let me get to him real fast. Guy, or he's the the young man that sent me the the protein, uh, the box of protein and the oh and the uh, calcium chews that I just am in love with. These these are it's time for one right now, but uh, these are amazing. They're bariatric advantage and really to be perfectly honest, these are the only calciums that I enjoy. It's like having a sweet tart. I love them. They're um, wild cherry flavor and they're the only ones that I've ran into that taste like a like a candy like a like what I used what I grew up on sweet tarts if y'all know what sweet tarts are anyway so uh, go check him out I'm gonna put him down below his name is big big B2 little B so he's trying to be little <laughs> trying to eventually get there He's been doing product reviews. I've, I've, I've kind of enjoyed him here lately. So, Anyway, I love you all. Just because I didn't mention you doesn't mean that I don't love you. Continue to do your videos. They're uplifting me. They're motivating me. I want to say to you, Pammy. I call Pammy. <laughs> Pamela. New Journey 2011. I'll put her down too. But I want to say to you about, your, about uh, you giving yourself grades. When I was a school teacher, I hated giving grades out. I did. I hated it, but I had to. And, you know, I would give like 10 questions and then they'd have to answer 10 questions. And then, you know, I had to take two off for each question. But I would sit that child down later when, especially if it, it was an F paper. And I would say, do you know, you know, I would, you know, I would go through each question and go, and, and give them analogies and explain to them that this is what I meant and this is how it, you know, why they got it wrong. And I'm so, you know, I, I apologized. Because <laughs> I wanted my kids to learn. I wanted them to, I wanted, wait a minute, there's got to be a reason why that one is not getting it, you know. So when you girls are giving yourself a, a C and a D and I'm thinking, nah, come on now. Give yourself an A plus. You lost two pounds, Pammy. All I got to say, and I heard you, Tanya, too. You girls, come on, change it. That negative talk, change it to a positive. Uh, 
give yourself a C plus at least, okay? <laughs> don't give yourself a C minus when you don't need it. You're doing good. You are on a journey of a better lifestyle. I love you girls. I love you all and, and men. Gary, thank you for doing Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. And is it, um, oh, I'm going to get somebody wrong. The new, the new people that are coming on to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, you did good. Guys, go watch Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Uh, I am a Sunday vlogger, and um, we've got all kinds of people vlogging and uh, answering questions. I love you. And back to basics, you're doing an amazing job, too. All right. <laughs> Bye.